Hello and a very warm welcome to my channel. Tonight, we give you a piece of breaking news, a royal author claims, Harry and Meghan are the big losers in the royal family amid the coronavirus pandemic and look irrelevant in this country. Today, a royal expert has claimed, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been branded the big losers in the royal family amid the coronavirus pandemic. Author Phil Dampier claimed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have missed out on the opportunity of seeing their public image boosted when they chose to move to Los Angeles, after stepping down as senior members of the royal family in January. They are indeed irrelevant and frankly given the way they jumped ship at this time of the Queen's life when she needs everyone to pull together it's no surprise. The British will always have an affection for Prince Harry but he has very badly misjudged this move and his wife is the prime candidate to blame for his lack of sense of duty. He must know where his duty lies but chose his wife over his birth, so be it but don't be surprised the country has lost interest in them. He went on to say the couple hasn't gained the same popularity that other royals have amid the coronavirus lockdown, making them the big losers. Speaking to The Express, he said, I think the lockdown has been good image-wise for all of the royals except for Harry and Meghan. They are the big losers in this because they now look somewhat isolated and somewhat irrelevant in this country. Phil, the writer of Prince Philip, Wise Words and Golden Gaffes, went on to say that their lack of presence during the coronavirus crisis has resulted in the couple's fans losing interest. They still might have a massive role to play internationally or in America but I think people just shrug their shoulders in the UK, explained the royal expert. They're just not really interested whereas all the other royals have gone up in popularity and have also played their roles very well. He continues, brought it on themselves with their insincerity, extortionate spending, narcissistic personalities, and moaning about how difficult their lives are whilst stood in South Africa. Not to mention the set-up photoshoots showing them delivering food to people. British people are not stupid and can see straight through people like this. They deserve it. My only concern is for Archie who may be on the path to a very difficult childhood emotionally. However, objecting to this opinion, one follower said, it's actually not got anything to do with the pandemic, it's their behavior that has put them on the outside. From overspending, disrespecting our head of state, clearing Wimbledon, saying she's never been asked if she's okay, with a backdrop of people who are suffering. Faking a pregnancy, lying about not knowing who the royal family are, shouting at staff, throwing hot tea at someone in Australia, and the way she treated her father. She had the biggest stage to help people, but all she helped was herself. It's that simple really. In the same opinion, another said, they had the public's attention. But showed their cards for wanting to fly jets everywhere, live a billionaire lifestyle, and be the top brand in the world. Her nasty leaked stories about the royal family and playing the fake victim brought them down. Biggest hypocrites the world has known. Meanwhile, discuss it, Mr. Phil explains, Meghan came with an agenda that didn't work out. She hates not being a princess and having to pretend, she hates being second fiddle to Kate and she got through staff and rub others up the wrong way quickly be her Mimi attitude. Realizing the monarchy wasn't going to revolve around her, she was pregnant and endless holidays to hatch escape to Canada, but then it was off again after seeing they weren't going to fund her, so here she is with vulnerable isolated Harry in tow sofa surfing. Having given up the titles they've made themselves irrelevant nobodies which is why she has hired a team to feed endless dribble to the media in the hope they get attention. Well done Harry hope it somehow works out. He concludes, not surprised at all, and honestly think that it has everything to do with their attitude and the way they have treated the Queen and the royal family. Liked Harry when he was involved in his charities, but now being married to that American has ruined his popularity with the public. However, many fans on Daily Mail also slammed Meghan and Harry, a fan said, the royal family welcomed Meghan. Meghan then insulted the royal family and the country. Harry was just a passenger, a quite a dozy one at that. They are rapidly heading towards obscurity and financial ruin. Well, I think he was kind of a loser beforehand. But he was no brainchild and selecting her did not enhance his brainpower. The world knew it would be a downward spiral and most of us are not royal watchers. A fan replied to him, are you saying that Meghan missed a photo opportunity, dot and that the footage of her, with Harry, delivering 20 meals to the disadvantaged of Los Angeles and her announcement that she is sponsoring a dog kennel in the name of Archie is insufficient to be a relevant royal, surely not. 
Get with the program, these two international scroungers are irrelevant anywhere. But another added, they don't think they are, and this is why there is something about them in the news every single day. They crave fame and attention, and if they can't win the PR battle they'll try to take other people down. Hence the negative articles about other royals that are hitting the media today. Their PR machine is vile. Meanwhile, the second wrote, of course, they are the big losers. They were always constitutionally irrelevant in the UK and now they are truly irrelevant in any sense. The USA couldn't care less about them, they serve no purpose over there whatsoever. The only purpose is to further Meghan Markle's Hollywood aspirations. There's no other reason for them to be in the USA. They moved to the US to make megabucks on the back of their royal connection. However, after this pandemic is over there won't be too much cash floating around as people will have a better use for their money than giving it to a foundation, charity that these two will live the life of luxury off. The celebrity bubble they're living in at the moment will probably burst as people see them for what they are. And the last one wrote, they are beyond irrelevant. People are not interested here in the United States. They may have their core fans, but there are so many celebrities splashed on the pages of our mags, they just aren't a big deal. They will learn they are now little fish in a big pond as retired royalty in the United States. But William and Kate coming over would be very exciting. We continue with another news, The Sun reported, according to a royal expert, Kate Middleton and Prince William feel wholly responsible to comfort the public since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle quit. Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, said that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are seeking to use their profile to benefit the royal family. Since the UK has gone into lockdown, Kate and William have kept busy, doing video calls with frontline workers and volunteers, and launching a mental health initiative. Speaking to Fabulous, Ingrid said of the couple being increasingly active, they feel almost wholly responsible as they are the only influential ones young enough to be out there at the moment apart from Sophie and Edward and the Princess Royal. They have the highest profile and want to use it to the benefit of the monarchy which has to be seen as being a comfort to people at this time. Ingrid said that Kate has helped to be a driving force for the couple during this time, and appears to take the lead during engagements. She said, I think Kate has always worn the trousers. She runs the household allowing William to get on with his own thing. She may not have ever looked as confident as she does now, but that was because she didn't want to overshadow her husband. He is quite happy to let her lead the Zoom calls as someone has to. Although they are very competitive, their marriage is not a competition. The royal expert also observed that Kate and William appear to be more relaxed in their roles, since Harry and Meghan officially stepped down. She explained, I think they are sending the message that they can do it on their own without the support of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. I get the impression that the Cambridges are far more relaxed and comfortable since Meghan and Harry left. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently self-isolating in Los Angeles with baby Archie, and have shielded their son from public attention. On the converse, during the lockdown, we have seen Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 2, clapping for the NHS and new photos of Louis unveiled for his birthday. Ingrid said, I think the Cambridges want to let people see their children in controlled circumstances i.e. that they have control over. The underlying message has to be that unlike Meghan and Harry they are happy for everyone to enjoy pictures of their children especially if they are doing something not just looking cute. It shows that she has learned the magic of sharing bits of information and details of her children's lives as a way of engaging with people. While Harry may be miles away from his family, including his dad Prince Charles, who tested positive for coronavirus, Ingrid said the Queen will certainly be missing her grandson. She said, the Queen feels very sad that Harry, whose royal life seems so promising, has decided to opt out. She regarded him as a wonderful asset to the monarchy because of his youth and popularity and unique way with people. But now she will just wish them both the best and hope they make a success of it without embarrassing the royal family. And you? What do you think about Meghan and Harry? Let me know in the comment section and we discuss them. And if you loved my video and my channel, please like and share it, also as subscribe to the Sussex Daily News new version to not miss any news from our team. Now, thank you for watching, goodbye, and see you in the next videos.